is uh, a meeting place of ideas, arts, community, um, where it's run by a, a nonprofit arts organization called Springboard Performance. Um, and uh, we've been in Sunnyside here for about seven years now, and it started off with actually this container right here that was uh, the mothership, uh, as it's called. And it was um, part of the, the Olympics in Vancouver. Um, uh, affiliated with our artistic director Nicole Nicole Mion, and um, and then they toured this way to, to Calgary and was in East Village for a while, and then they found found home and where we worked. She worked at the city. It's been here now for seven years, and uh, and we've been adding containers and adding uh, this little adding to this plaza uh, that right now during COVID is a space for healing in some ways of coming back together through the arts and allowing that that sort of. Uh, rhythm and music and art to sort of um, reconnect us all deeper. My name is Sincere, rap soul artist from Calgary, Alberta, and I'm all about uh, creating music, creating vibes to uplift my people. What you're gonna hear tonight is total madness. You're gonna hear nothing but vibes. It's gonna be nothing but good times, good energy, and a lot of rap. I think it's, I think uh, we're, us as artists, we're always so fortunate during this time to be able to be out in the public and to engage with a live audience as, you know, um, I think I had one live, two live shows maybe um, since the pandemic had hit. So I think it, it, I'm just, I'm, I feel really blessed. I'm honored, I'm grateful, um, and I'm excited. Here at Container, we've had uh, you know performances, everything from from um, theater for young audiences to dance to uh, there's been visual art installations. We've had workshops run on on the site. There's been a lot that's happened over the past seven years. We've had uh, some of our biggest events have and you're, they're generally all community sort of organized and. It was a, pr a pride festival a few years back, and then also we had this was the starting site for a taste of that thing in the desert, uh, which is which was um, a League of Extraordinary Men slash Alberta Burning Man sort of affiliated with Beakerhead uh, event that was ha that happened on this site. So it was yeah, it's been you know, and neighbors from Sunnyside also engage with it a lot. We've had open jams here. We also have a permaculture um, garden on site. Uh, and uh, and so there's there's um, sort of interaction with, with with neighbors that come and go that are part of that permaculture guild over there and they um, yeah and so we've, we we sort of like are trying to work with the community and are also recognizing that this is a um, important site you know <laughs> understand Nicole Mion uh, and her vision after she's been running this organization Springboard for uh, well I believe the organization is 35 years and it was started by a collective of dancers 
and and so that wanted to get the you know contemporary dancing a little bit going and this is one branch of this organization and our artistic director uh, Nicole Mion who since I've been in Calgary has been the artistic director of this organization um, you know, understands the, the importance of community and, and um, contributing to community, giving to community, creating space for art artists, advocating for artists, um, paying artists fairly, but also seeing the integration into arts and culture, that it's, we're not separate from high art. You know, like that we can, we can relate with our, our we are all, con this is a personal opinion of mine, but we're constantly engaging with art in some ways, you know, maybe 50,000 million pieces a day, really, when you think about everything that's designed. And, I mean, we'd love to stay here a long time, but it, we don't know. We're, we're, I think we've, we've been in negotiation with the city for a while, and Nicole's been doing that dance. I think we're here for a while now, but it's, uh, you know, what, what could be here in 10 years? Oh yeah, I mean, it's been seven years, it's been a lot of community relations. I mean, my, the, the whole Springboard team has had to, you know, work with different, different relationships and different partners and stakeholders to, to keep this thing maintained, to communicate really maybe sort of like the, a, a way of engaging with this space, you know, and, uh, and also just to recognize what this space brings out in people naturally without anyone dictating anything.